Igor Julius Bjornsson with the icing on the cake. For the 2018 Tachi Palace World's Strongest Man, Hector Julius Bjornsson! Mercy. Who am I fighting? Does it matter? I'm cold sweeter, guys. I'm cold sweeter. I'm gonna kick his ass. Not long. Not long now. <clears throat> don't forget to kill the mountain when you have the opportunity, or it can backfire. Yeah, I don't wanna end up like Oberyn. Oh, I'm in a game. Nice. All right, let's go. World's strongest man. Yes, think. Think about it. Think about it. Where do you go? Where do you go? Take a good hard think. Don't mind the timer. Holy shit, the game fucking started and I was not ready. I didn't pay attention. What a fucking failure, guys. Hmm. I could take this pawn. It's pretty easy for him to win it back, though. I haven't really seen this for an opening. I have to admit, this is a little bit different than what I'm used to. <laughs> uh, I don't see a reason not to take the center here. I don't know. Just take that pawn. He's annoying. He's. Guess I'll take. I'll take the center. Uh. I don't know, man. Seems completely fine to me. Unless he prepared something here. There's some very sneaky stuff, perhaps. He's going to take with this queen if I take here. But do I need to take here? If he takes with his queen and he has both his queen and his bishop out, it's a little bit aggressive. I swear to God, I'm more nervous playing chess than than uh, than competing in Stormer, guys. Uh, okay, 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 it didn't start well, uh, but it's going well now. He's taking the center. Uh, I'm just gonna castle. I'm just gonna castle here. Uh, Super early castle. Coming for you, Mr. Mountain.
I think I just want to get my second knight in too. He could go down and pin me here, but that doesn't really matter too much. It opens up if he takes it in the end. And we're attacking a bit. His knight is pinned, so now I'm attacking a pawn. He can still take with his queen though. But I could take here if he takes with his queen. That would be a pawn. I'm kind of happy if I can get my bishop over here. Kind of allowing the development, I guess. I wonder if he would realize Now I can take this So that's a pawn, and I'm attacking his queen, he has to move it. He doesn't have too many squares to move it to. He definitely has squares, <coughs> he's not trapped or anything, but... He doesn't have too many aggressive ideas. The G and the H and the F are all blocked. Okay, he's attacking my... He's attacking my uh, knight and also attacking... Attacking the um, the D pawn. So it's under attack by both the, the queen, the, the bishop and the... Queen, the bishop and the knight, which is kind of scary because I'm only covering it twice. I think I will take out this bishop. Let's think for a little bit though. It's fine to use sometime. Seems A-OK -okay to me.
he has an attacking idea here still because he can take my um take my knight out so he can still do the attack I think we're just gonna castle, get out of harm's way. He might win this pawn back, but if I castle and he takes here, I take here, then, then he's gonna go in with his knights. If he goes in with his knight, wait. Yeah, no, I think it's fine, right? Would like to get my rooks involved and he would like to as well. So yeah, I think we're just gonna castle. Oh, there's something as well. He doesn't really win a pawn with this, does he? If he takes here, I take here. He takes here, I can still take here. Okay. That rook is active. Activated. I think I just want to bring my rooks in too. I'm thinking about this, but it could, yeah, it could be kind of sad. A little bit unhappy that we ended up getting traded down so much. I would have liked more more pieces, more complications. He's attacking a lot of things here, but how about I go here? What do you do? Because you, you can't really do too much about it, can you? Isn't this pretty devastating? Let's play it. I don't think you thought about this. If you take here, I will retake, of course. If you take here, I will retake here. You walked into a, a pawn fork, my friend. He sidesteps out of it with his queen. But he's gonna have to retake this pawn that I'm gonna for sure take with. I don't see any attacking ideas that he has. There's the fact that he can get his rook here now, because he can take here and then get his rook down. But it's okay, I think. We don't care. And also, if he takes with pawn here, this is looking at doubled pawn structure. Yeah, he's got that. He does have that, but I don't think he will get anything done. I could either push, I could even go here. 
making the queen move. Wait, if I go here, the queen has to move, then I could take. Just pushing the pawn is fine too, but isn't this... Let's see where his queen goes. I think I go here. I mean, he could just take one step down though. Hmm. Not sure about this. If he takes one step down, I can still move my pawn up. So, And then I protect this guy. I don't know. Let's do this. I'm not sure it's the right move because he has some ideas. Go Waga D. If he goes here, yeah, he does the one step. That's why I thought. Then we just take this move. I could go here now, but hmm, it's greedy. He's gonna smash my uh, bishop, is the danger. After the bishop is out of the way, his queen sinks in. She kind of doesn't, because my queen is also protecting it, but. If he takes my bishop, I just retake. I don't know, I think I just go, dude. I might be fucking this up here, but I don't think he can kill me. Then again, he is, he is the mountain. He can kill people. An idea could have been to go here, actually. because he's not doubled on his rooks. But I don't think it would have been good because he would just move this rook out. This move can like kind of prevent this rook from doing anything. He wants to smash. Yeah, true, I'm pinned there, so it's nasty. Oh, I think I fucked up. I think I fucked up, but what if I go... Shit, dude. This might be okay. Oh, immediate threat off? I'll take it though. That was not the insta move you wanted. We 
Alright. Now we just easy peasy from here, boys. Sorry, sir, I'm too bad to win with few pieces. I'm going to have to take out your pawns and then make more pieces. That's just what we're going to have to do. Sorry, too late. There's no way it's stalemate because he has a pawn here, so that's our, our backup. We did it, game one done. Alright, game one in the books, boys. That was a tough game. Ah, uh, GG. Woo! Oh, I feel I have the print screen. World's strongest man saying GG to me. I never expected that, man. I'm very happy about this. Very happy about the whole Pog Champs event in general, but I cannot believe I'm playing the mountain in the first game, man. That feels amazing. Feels amazing, man. I'm very happy. That is high up on the list of things I never expected to happen. Have you ever had a GG from a world's strongest man chat? I was scared though. He was attacking. I like it. He was down pieces and he just fucking charged at me, man. He went with a solid attack, but I think he might have been winning there as well. I'm sure I didn't defend that right. Because uh, if he if he didn't trade queens, I think I could have still been scared. Giveaway, comeback win. Yeah, let's go forward to... Okay, it's still saying that I'm very winning here. I guess maybe it was never really dangerous. I felt like there could be something, but I realized that if he goes here, I could just take his queen. Because I was thinking, oh, he could just, you know, smash through. And my knight was not safe here because of the pin against the queen. All right. Cool. I missed a fork on the queen and the rook a few turns back. Oh, yeah. I right, no, no talking, chat. No talking. Emotes only. That's for you too, mods. Sub messages bypass chat restrictions. Oh, I need to Monthly. fucking mute this. There we go. Mute it. Mute it. So we cool.
Uh, maybe I shouldn't have blocked myself before doing this. Maybe not. We're gonna have a little bit open on that side, but that's fine. Good thing is we could potentially get one more boy here. I recognize that. Didn't expect it to be something, just... Just doing some shit, you know? Yeah, you're on that square, but not really. My knight is on it too. So use some time to think here, because this is sort of critical point. We're about to do palm breaks and shit. Thinking if I come out with my rook to the C file, it's kind of nice. Gives his queen a responsibility, that C pawn. But it might also trigger him to do this. He's happy to push those pawns, I'm sure. We could do this. I haven't really di uh, dived into what it means. But if I push here, he could capture me and then I capture. And he can't really take me with his queen, so I kind of like it would stabilize my center a little bit would also give me a chance to play a pawn push with tempo on his queen if he stays and block off this idea i think we'll just play a small little pawn move here <clears throat> Yeah, he could almost he could almost do stuff here, but I don't think it works. I think I should have played this immediately and maybe he would, you know, fuck up. I'm not sure if he would realize the knight is protecting. Just pretend I didn't see what he's doing, you know. We used a little bit of time just to think here, I think I like what's happening here. I don't even think I want to take here because that's a triple up, right? But this looks kind of cool. But if he takes, then I'm also happy because then we have solved the, the pawn structure. So no matter what, we're going to get a better, better pawn structure than we have right now, I think. Well, maybe not. If I push here, it's not really better. It's just taller. Going tall instead of going wide. Okay, so he got us. This is a very similar game. We're very, very similar here. This knight does not have too many squares. If I push here, hold up. If I push here, he can't go for the checkmate because I can take. And he has to move his boy. He can't move here because then we take him. He can't move here because then we take him. He could move into this corner, but that's a fucking corner. You don't like corners. So he could move here, but that sets up this. Kek him. This could be, could be good. I think it's very easy to fall into the pawn trap here. It's going to be the same way that we got him in the last one. Oh, he saw it, but now he's in the corner. And he's officially dead dude like there's no squares for this guy i could just i could just send my pawn going is he getting out of there in time he would get out of there in time though 
I don't want to fuck up my structure. That, 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 that queen or that um, knight is pretty out of it right now. That means I don't want to push this guy. I want to keep that tension. My boy Daniel, he was talking about tension a lot during our coaching session. I think it was this kind of tension or uh, sexual. Hmm. Let's get some rooks involved or get the queen. I was thinking about this and he could take. It's not so good for my pawn structure again, though. Let's just get on C file, I think. I want to get my second knight going as well. Can he do something? Can you activate? We're kind of blocking you and then you're blocked here and you're blocked here. You, you really can't do anything. So that's one benefit of moving my queen is my, my uh, knight could come out this way. I really don't want him there, though. I want him here. This knight could go there. Should he go there now? He shouldn't. Let's just do this. It can't be that bad. Uh, this guy's fucking useless. It's unfortunate. But this guy... This guy could pepper a hop in here. The issue is... He could take... And then I take with a pawn, but suddenly he can move his queen out, you know, and also, yeah. He doesn't like my pawn there. I'm sorry, but we're going to have a pawn there. Not going to move just yet, sir. He's getting out of there. His prison break. He's going to get involved with his rook if I go that way. Now I could push this pawn. I like the idea of cutting off his queen's diagonal, dude. He also weakened his king a little bit there with that move. And his pawn push can't do anything if I'm blocking it, so... I think going here... I like the idea. Do I have something better? And the thing about taking it is then I give, you know, again, freedom to the to knight on, on this square. He just comes in and takes, so I don't like that at all. Or the rook, you know, whichever. Let's just go here. Keck him. And now it's hard for him to do anything about this move. But my move doesn't do anything yet. It's a useless move that he cannot counter. Where's the Queen of Iceland going? If he moves his queen back, then um, there's some stuff hanging. He can't go opposite me. He can't go here. He can't go here. Yeah. The Queen of Iceland is backing. Now I can pin his knight. He might just go there with a rook as well. But then I go there with a rook as well. I think... I, I'm just gonna play this move. Fuck it. Fuck it! Throw it out there! We got a pinned knight. So if he goes with a rook to stand next to my rook, I stand next to... My, uh, I put a rook on c1. Yeah, we're, we're currently side-blading his queen, is what this is called. In case anyone on the official stream is watching right now, this is called a side-blade, not a pin. This is, you know, you, you gotta think. Put, make it relatable. This is Dota. This is all Dota. And queen of Pain is out of position right now. And Chaos Knight. No, <laughs> this is Chaos Knight. That, that, that's Chaos Knight. That's Chaos Knight. He's on the corner. We also have some really nice ideas. Okay. 
Yeah, I think I just go here. I have ideas for moving my... Moving my uh, my knights in to support. Um, it's annoying though because my queen is in the way. That stupid queen. <laughs> She's in the way for what I want to do. He can't really do too much. His queen could like go down here and like do this but then we just take him so there, there's no no squares here for the queen no squares here no squares here for the queen so she's pretty defensive right now i think i'm just gonna triple up dude did i just triple up it I thought about bringing, so what I want to do is like get this move in or something, right? Like get my, get my knight over there. But on the way there, I'm going to block off my rook and then he dies. That's bad. I want my rook to live. So we're going to try not to do that. And I give a solid attempt at not doing that. Okay. I haven't thought about this fully. Okay, so what happens here if I take, he takes with a rook, I take with a rook, he takes with his queen. Yeah, that's not not fully amazing. But actually it is, because we go here, he goes here, I go here. If he then takes again, I'll go here and check him. And again, we have his, his knight pinned to his queen. We're back where we started. And I have a flight square too. I think I'm just going. I don't know if it's right. I don't know if it's right, man. We're, we're just going. We can't half-ass this. If only I could take on this square, it would be fun, right? But I guess I can bring my knights in. What's his queen going to do? If his queen goes all the way down, then I can still do stuff. Actually, what I can do, I could go here still. Would get my queen out of the way for a pawn if that wants to advance as well. And then I threaten to go here, so his queen has to move. But he has to move his queen and support the knight still. Alternatively, we go this way with threats of check, but it's not really a big threat because he just retakes like this. So I don't like that so much. Let's go with this guy, I think. Let's give it a little bit of a thinker here. I mean, I'm up up positioning wise but material is pretty even it's just pawn difference i do have pawns i think we'll go here we'll get the knight up he's gonna be on a nice little spot here fuck it and the benefit is this knight is going to be actually supporting that idea so then we can go here take here and if he takes then we have another check we have the both knights operating on the same same idea could be good right now he has to be pretty careful if his queen moves to the wrong spots could be uh could be a game over if he moves to the wrong spot actually In many ways, either by uh, potential checkmates or by me taking his knight. So I don't even know what's best for him. I haven't really 
calculated it. It's too much. It's enough to calculate only my pieces, man. Imagine having to think about your opponent, too. I don't fucking know what you're gonna do, man. <laughs> Move somewhere. Yeah, so many losing moves for him right now, I think. And uh, I like my two pawns. I have two passed pawns in the center. Okay, that doesn't change my idea, I think. I'm just gonna go here. Now we're on that pawn as well, I guess. So the pawn is a potential take. We would also be on the next pawn <laughs> if we take that pawn. But we also have Potentially bigger fish to fry. And now his queen has to move. She has to. And if she moves here, oh this this is a fun one. Move here, please. I'll go here. He might think that he can pin me, but that doesn't make sense because my pawn is supporting me. But if he does that, he's losing that queen. Please pin me! PIN ME MOUNTAIN! <laughs> just uh, not not like the Red Viper kind of thing, like, you know, just, just, a, just a little piece. What? Smother mate? Smother checkmate. GG. GG's. We did it, chat! We fucking did it! 2 0. We start out strong in our group. Start out strong. Look at that shit. Holy shit. Shit! Uh, I have to fan. I have to fanboy, guys. There, there's no way. I'm fanboying for you guys too, chats. I'm, I'm fanboying for you guys too. We can turn off emote only. Huge fan, man. <laughs> Run, <laughs> fuck, man. <laughs> That that is that's another print screen man. I that that was that was great. GG once again. Thank you. Yeah, we well, already said thank you. Fuck it, man. There's nothing more to say. I'm just happy. I'm just happy, dude. I'm happy about the game. Thank you. <laughs> I'm taking out a life insurance as we speak. <laughs> yes. 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 I'm taking out a, a life insurance that covers death by Atlas Stone. Something that, you know, so that my family will at least, at least live a good life <laughs> after I'm crushed under a fucking rock. Commentators are calling you possible favorites, favorite to win, uh, win of that performance. Oh, really? No, I, <laughs> I don't think so, but that's, uh, that's very kind. I'm just glad I didn't mess up too much in my game. It was a fun game. It was fun, man. I, I, I'm just happy I didn't let down the Dota community, you know? I'm just happy I can represent my community and be part of it. I play a lot better in the second game. Yeah, first game was, yeah, very iffy. I don't know. I got myself in a complicated situation and didn't know what I was doing. Yo, thank you so much for the gifted subs. Massively appreciated. Thank you so much, TM Duality, for the five gifts. Also, big thanks to uh, to all the people supporting me. Your uh, your uh, your your support and uh, following here. You know, like I normally have like three hundred viewers while playing chess. Now I have apparently nine hundred and thirty. Uh, I'm sure a lot of the Dota community is is here, and maybe someone from the mainstream too. Uh, I just want to say thank you. It's it's a lot of fun. 
I really took a long time thinking in game one. I did, but I was really scared. I got in a weird spot. Also, I, like I'm against the mountain, man. You don't understand. There, there's something when a small man faces a really big man. There's something very primal. There's something very like reptile brain going on, where you think this man could crush me. That's it's nothing, nothing other than that man. You you just know that this man right there, he could crush me probably with his hand. You know, if he put his hand on my head. Holy shit! This is the best game I ever played. I think ninety-eight point five percent accuracy. I can't believe it. Holy shit! I actually played good. <laughs> this is this was very accurate then. Holy shit! That's the highest score I've ever had on accuracy chat. So I'm happy I didn't crumble under the the pressure, but instead played good. I'm so happy I saw that I can just like shut off his diagonal here. Dude, no mistakes, no inaccuracies, no blunders, and no missed win. Stokefish! Dota is here, man. <laughs> Kikari called me the strongest player in Fox Champs. I'm so, I'm so, so flattered by that, but I don't think I am. I think, I think that Hikaru is still missing out on that half is is definitely better than me. But um, but I, I think I will improve. I can say this. I think I will improve. I, I've yet to play too many games, but I think I'll get stronger. Until my uh, until my destined time in the winner bracket, leading with a win now, I, uh, I will try to get better. Yeah, I'll watch the official VODs. That was, that was, you know, that was very hype. A lot of fun for me. Thank you so much for the gifted subs, Bami, and thank you, Red Basis, for the five gifted subs as well. Bad experiment with the ten gifted subs. Eat my sacks, gifting a sub to Anna Chess. Oh, is that the real Anna Rudolph account? Is that is that Anna Rudolph in my uh, chat? I wonder if that's is that her? It is. It is. A big shout out. Big shout out. We're doing a coaching session tomorrow. Um, Anna Rudolph uh, accepted to coach me tomorrow. So tomorrow she will um, teach me to to keep improving at this game. That's amazing. She was watching my perspective all games. Oh, she was? I'm very flattered. <laughs> I'm very flattered. That's awesome. I'm glad that she did because, you know, tomorrow we're, we're doing the coaching session. So it'll be fun. What am I going to do to celebrate? I don't even know, Chad. I haven't thought about this. <laughs> I forgot the crickets in the background. Yeah, another time. I'm too I'm too talkative of a streamer to do that. Don't forget the VIP of Mr. Beastmon. Wait, who? Oh yeah, Tubi needs his VIP back. True. Uh, Tubi photo. There we go. Yeah, Tubi, you have your VIP now. There you go. Um, they have an interview with you coming up. Oh, do they? Oh, great. <laughs> great. Uh, are they messaging me somewhere? I I guess I'll come on for an interview. All right, I'll be ready for it. I don't know where they're contacting me, but I'll happily, happily come on. Check Zoom. I don't even know how Zoom works, man. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at Zoom. What, what, what am I supposed to see here? <laughs> I'm a boomer, not a Zoomer. They misunderstood. Oh my god, Sonja, Sonja Lang, thank you so much. Chess community, the chess community is amazing. Checking Zoom, like is there even anything to check there? Do people talk on Zoom? I don't fucking know how Zoom works, I literally never used it before this. The casters... Uh, laughed about your prison break comment instead of chest break. Oh. <laughs> I'm indeed a harsh coach. Uh, we'll see it tomorrow. Oh, I, I'm I'm fine with that, Anna. I'm I'm completely welcoming to to uh, whatever form of coaching you want to do. I've experienced coaching people myself, so I, I know that different things can be effective. You know, completely welcome. I, I appreciate the help. I'm very flattered by having so many amazing chess players willing to to reach reach out and help they're still on break but they said they will come back soon with an interview with both players nice you missed two times fork 
yeah i'm i'm sure i'm missing stuff but it's uh my I, i'm i'm gonna i i said it during the hafu and pacman game when i was watching that mountain is talking about you oh jeez nice one at wag mama tv um, you're an inspiration yeah, i think, I think you're in that spot you go hands up hands up and you just don't even touch anything for at least a second just to make sure that like, hey, he has 11 seconds. This is pretty much in the bag. Just don't throw. Uh, or give him yeah. anything easy. Not even throw, just give him something easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but still good games. What do you think about, can I ask, the meme? Because every time you're in a game, Twitch chat likes to bring up the fact that they should draw to you immediately, forfeit king round one, or else. Is there any truth to these rumors, mm. these memes? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually hilarious. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. I mean, I mean, if if if, if my opponent want want to like if if they if they if they want to like I'm not gonna sure. like. like I mean, you know, gonna, it's, uh, you're not gonna tell them to. You're not? Not <laughs> I'm not gonna tell them to. But no, like, of course not. But... Like if they if 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 they feel like they 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 need need the uh, you know need some break or they they forgot a meal and right? this is to scale of eat instead of you know playing against me that's that's fine that's fine you know like yeah i'll take the win you know i'll take the uh -huh. win is a win uh, you after know? you're supposed to you're supposed to go like this and say if they want to if they want to they can't <laughs> okay. something like that yeah buddy um well i we're gonna go over your games i know i'm not your best friend but i'm your coach and we're gonna go over your games and we're gonna learn from this and you're gonna come back stronger than ever okay all right I feel I'm, I'm, I'm down. You know, I'm here to learn, guys. <laughs> Chess is new to me, and I'm here to learn. Like, like, bring it, bring it. I'm ready. Mountain is awesome, dude. Listen to that uh, attitude. That's so good. Your favorite to make a winner's bracket, which is impressive in its own right. So I think uh, I think that should be the goal for sure, and then see how far you can take it. I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. Yeah. I, I would also add just one last thing as well. Is it, it's I think it's really good when you play against the strongest player who's in your group at the start because then there's room to improve. Whereas if you play the other players first, it feels like in the last strongest. Other way where you're playing. So there's a saying that says it's better to. Match. Start bad and finish strong, then 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 start good and and end bad. What about okay. if you're constantly starting bad and ending bad? Like me, what's <laughs> That's absolutely. Then that, then you basically just fucked. Okay, okay. Well, that helps. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um. <laughs> All right, they're obviously hilarious and and so much fun to watch. Uh, guys. I want to give so much love back to you, chat. Thank you so much for all the bits and the the donations and the sub gifts. Uh, thank you so much to everyone. I hope that you understand this means a lot and i'm really happy you enjoy the games i'm gonna host over to the to the chess um chess official site if they're gonna continue to do something but uh yeah i'm i'm gonna be out because i'm sweaty man i'm sweaty i was scared like i said you missed ludwig saying he was gonna send uh after your address no oh, god damn it no 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 ban this man from flying ban him from traveling what the fuck? Alright, I I'm gonna head out, chat. Tomorrow we have a we have a coaching session with Anna, uh, Anna Rudolph, and uh, I'll be playing more chess tomorrow as well. I'll see you. I'll see you tomorrow. That's it for today. Uh, I'm gonna. I need to. I need to go take out a life insurance, chat. So if you don't see me tomorrow, chat, if I do not go live by 5 p.m. Swedish time, if I am not live. You can assume I'm dead. So, uh, so, so, so yeah, this is, uh, this is, this is, if this is the last time you see me, you know, all right, bye-bye, bye-bye.